Hi, my name is Lisa, and today I'm going to show you a breakdown of a seated morning warm up. So, what I like to do with every single class that I begin is start with a seated warm-up. I just feel, even though sun salutations traditionally are known to be the warm-up for yoga practice, I feel sitting and first getting into your body slowly is the best way, specifically because we kind of recline a lot throughout the day. We're sitting at a desk, we're sitting at a table, we're sitting on the toilet. So being able to start off moving and sitting and then transitioning to standing and doing um, more active poses kind of helps you get deeper into the practice. So let's always begin with grounding down through the sit bones. Feel your sit bones on the earth and then rise through the spine. Bring the palms facing down if you need some grounding or to seek the answers inside yourself or palms facing up to receive the answers from the outside. And go ahead and close the eyes and just focus on your breathing. And once you dive deep into your breathing, inhaling and exhaling, you begin to set an intention for yourself and it could be anything that you need to focus on throughout the day. And with that intention in your mind, gently float the eyes open. And let's begin with a nice seated warm up. And we start with grounding down through the right fingertips. Flip the left hand, reach it up and over. So the key to this is just start nice and slow, reaching up and over. You can gaze at the top hand, but if that neck is hurting you, you, look, you can look forward or down. And then go ahead, place the right hand down next to the left, and then just cross all the way to the front. Take a nice forward fold and just sway from side to side. Send the chin towards the chest and breathe. When you're ready, go ahead. Cross the hands all the way. Opposite side, the left side, and reach up and over. You can come onto the forearm if you have the flexibility. You can stay on fingertips, whatever feels good. If you are on that forearm, keep sending the right shoulder blade to the back of the room or behind you. Ground down through the right glute muscle so there's a nice straight line and then slowly come out and up. So now we've kind of gotten onto the sides of the body and the spine. Let's go ahead, get into the shoulders by sending the shoulders up towards the ears, back, down, and forward. I always sleep on my right side, so this shoulder is always a little bit more tense. And then take it in the opposite direction, up towards the ears, forward, down, and back. Inhale, shoulders are up towards the ears. Exhale, release shoulder blades down. And then go ahead, reach the right arm out as if you're about to shake my hand. And then interlace that left arm over the right arm and go ahead take a nice stretch in that right shoulder blade big deep breath in exhale gaze up over to the right as well allow that right shoulder blade to melt the more you breathe into the right shoulder blade and let go the more it will melt down the back Shoulder hand down. Let's take it to the opposite side, left hand, and then interlace and cross, gaze over the shoulder. And just breathe. So the more you reach the fingertips of that left hand, reach it to the side of the room or the right side of the room, the more you relax, the deeper you'll get into the stretch. Go ahead and release. Let's get into the neck and jaw. So trace circles with the nose. This is always a tricky one because I see a lot of my students want to drop the head all the way back. 
that's too much on the back of the neck or the cervical spine. That's a very delicate area. So you want to take it nice and light, sending the nose over to the right side. Then just send the nose up, tracing the top of your circle, sending it down to the or over to the left, and then down to the floor. Inhaling, sending the nose on up to the left and you'll notice that the neck isn't dropping back. So we're not going all the way up, we're just reaching on up. We're not facing to look up at the ceiling. And when you're ready, take it in the opposite direction. Initiating the circle on an inhale, finishing it up on an exhale. towards the chest, interlace fingers, make a basket with the hands, send them behind the head, and then bring the elbows in towards each other. Big deep breath in, keep the spine nice and long. Sigh it out. Last big deep breath. And go ahead, release the hands on down to the knees. Send the head back in alignment with the spine. Kundalini circles. Send the heart forward. Round over to the right. Then curl the tailbone under. The chin comes towards the chest. Reach on back. Really allow the shoulder blades to reach forward as you press the upper back to the back of the wall. And then come on over to the right and just continue that movement in a circular pattern, leading with the heart. and then take it in the opposite direction. Laying in your ujjayi breathing, the oceanic sound that's made by constricting the back of the throat when you inhale through the nose, and then exhale through the nose with seal of lips. Slowly come back to a nice seated position. Last, Kind of or one of my favorite seated warm-ups is just to get into the side of the neck. So take a nice morning stretch, reach the palms up towards the ceiling, inhale. Exhale, break the hands, send the right hand to the left ear and then guide that right ear towards the right shoulder blade as you gently place the left hand down to the floor. To get deeper into the stretch, take the left hand, flip the palm to the back of the wall. Breathing in. Sign it up. We're not pulling the hand down, we're just placing it to the left side of the head. And go ahead, take it in the opposite direction. Go ahead, just place that left hand onto the right side, gently guiding that left ear on down. Walk the right fingertips out to get deeper into the stretch or flip the hand behind you. You wanna be really gentle for this. slowly release. And after that, you're nice and warmed up and you can come into your cat cow. So those are some of my favorite seated warm-ups. If you're interested in doing a meditation with this sequence, I have a meditation for manifesting a positive day on lisaculpa.com slash listen. So you can go ahead and check that out to do with this sequence. Have an amazing rest of your day, night, afternoon, namaste.